New tonight, a leadership change is now coming to Atlanta Public Schools. We are hearing from the chair of the Atlanta Board of Education for the first time since the board decided to get rid of Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring at the end of her contract next year. Our Cody Alcorn is live outside the superintendent's office. Cody, this is something some parents called for. Others are shocked by this news. Have we heard any response from Dr. Herring tonight? Jennifer, she did put out a statement highlighting her accomplishments over the last three years, but declined an interview. I did get the chance, though, to talk with the board's chair about their decision. Atlanta School Board dropping major news. To not extend the contract beyond June of next year, 2024. The upcoming school year will be Dr. Lisa Herring's last as the superintendent of Georgia's sixth largest school system. This wasn't a knee-jerk reaction or a knee-jerk decision that just happened. It has been an ongoing conversation. Board Chair Ishay Collins wouldn't give specific reasons. Those decisions made in executive session. But we have always kept at the forefront forefront uh, student, you know, student achievement for all of our children across the city. Post COVID, many students continue to fall behind, leaving districts scrambling. It is more difficult because we are seeing larger gaps. What we are in terms of what the data has shown is very clear and there's been a lot of conversations around around that, but as far as how do we um, actually address and execute solidly has been the ongoing conversation, uh, ongoing conversation. In a statement, Dr. Herring mentioned her performance evaluation this past December, citing an emphasis on the focus of additional engagement and stronger communication efforts. She acknowledged the areas of improvement that we were very key about Efforts the board obviously felt weren't enough over the past six months. I think it's important for everyone to understand that it is our goal and our commitment to continue the work to make sure that this is a seamless transition. We can really get this right and we have the opportunity and time to do just that. The next step, the board will hire a firm to begin the nationwide search for the next leader for APS school system. Now, I can also tell you that uh, the board says the community will be heavily involved in the next choice for leadership. All right, Cody, another Metro Atlanta school district on the search now for a new leader.